Okay, so I wanted, I want to talk about this really quick. <laughs> it's like, it's 4.30 in the morning. I just woke up and I couldn't go back to sleep. And I was on YouTube, just scrolling through stuff. And I don't, okay, I came, I, this was on like, you know, the homepage where you just scroll, like scroll through videos. And I never heard of this before. Um, but instantly when I saw this kid's picture, I just, okay, I started watching the video on, I didn't have the volume up, okay? I was just reading the subtitles. And because again, when I pick up stuff, I can't have any like noise. That's why I pick up stuff through pictures, okay? And so when I was watching this, and just kind of reading the subtitles, um, I was taking screenshots, okay? Um, so this is, um, this is who I'm talking about. I believe this, it said in this video that I watched, I watched like not even half of it. Um, Lucas, I don't know how to pronounce this, Trone, Tronchi, Tronche. I believe this, um, it said it was, this took place somewhere in France. Um, he, I guess, disappeared. He was supposed to be going with his brother um, to a swimming lesson, I think it said. And they were supposed to catch a bus, right? So as I was watching this and looking at the photos that they were showing, and I'm reading the captions, right? on this video, instantly what I saw and what I picked up was that this kid had other plans, okay, that day where he was supposed to be going with his brother, he purposely, what I could pick up is that he was, okay, the word I heard in my head was groomed. He was being groomed by someone, okay? A teacher, someone who teaches children doesn't have to be just a teacher in a school setting, okay? Um, I don't know if this kid was involved in other activities outside of school, but an adult, and I was specifically picking up a woman. That's a confirmation for me because I am getting chills all over my body when I'm saying that. Women are evil too, okay? There are, I mean, you know, yes, I'm, I know everyone is aware of this, okay? Um, sorry. Uh, women, there are predators out there that are women, okay? And they're evil, okay? And women do this shit too. And that's what I was picking up. Um, and it doesn't, again, I could be wrong. I could be picking up a feminine energy, but it may also be a man, okay? A man who presents himself in a very feminine way. So I could be mistaking that because I'm not seeing a complete image, okay? What I'm picking up is a very feminine energy. And why is my, hold on. Why is my thing doing that? <laughs> my iPad is freaking out right now. Oh my God, what the hell? Whatever. Um, yeah. So what I was picking up the day that he disappeared, because I don't feel like he, um, he wasn't kidnapped. He wasn't taken. I feel like this was something planned. He knew he was going to be going somewhere that day or in the evening. I, f I believe they said he was supposed to be going to a swimming lesson with his brother and they were supposed to go to the bus stop together. But this kid stayed back and said he had to do something, I don't know, something. So the, the brother went on without him and he was gonna meet up with him, right? 
that kid did that on purpose. That was done on purpose to so he could stay back, so he could, you know, take off and go. Somebody talked him into doing this. Someone was grooming him. I feel months and months prior. It had been going on for a while. A woman. I'm picking up a very feminine energy. It's either a woman or a man that thinks he's a woman. Whatever that means. Um, a man, fem, feminine man, gay man. I don't know if this kid um, was questioning his sexuality. Um, maybe he was thinking he was gay. See, that's where I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble deciphering, um, if this was a man or a woman that did it. Because again, women do this shit too. They are evil, uh, sexual predators and murderers that are women. And they get away with it and they're not suspected because they're women. So don't ever, I don't know, I feel like saying this right now, don't put it past anybody. You think, oh, I'm going to leave my kid here at this daycare and it's all ran by women, right? I feel safe. No, don't ever fucking feel safe just because someone's a woman. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's something with that. A man who presents himself as a woman. There's something with that. Again, and I, uh, you know, it's either an actual woman predator that did this or convinced him to, hey, come on, you know, um, or it's a man that is very feminine, gay, or presents himself physically as a woman. Anyways, but I feel like it's someone that this kid knew and was around, um, a teacher, at school I'm specifically picking up and hearing not school a teacher to children but f with other activities you know whatever your kids do outside of school whatever activities you know you sign them up for um yeah but anyways sorry I'm kind of I'm, I'm just talking through this okay because I didn't really spend too much time uh, thinking about it, um, because I picked it to this up immediately. Okay. Um, that's yeah. Whoever was grooming him, grooming, making them think, oh, we're friends, but we're more than friends. A weird, uh, just a weird, creepy thing that was going on with this kid. And I'm getting an awareness from him. He was aware and he was curious, but it's like, but at the same time, he was not aware what was happening to him. Okay. Um, and I feel like when he stayed back, that was done on purpose. He knew he was going to take off. It was planned. There was some, I see him on his phone. He's on his phone speaking text speaking with someone this person whoever this fucking asshole is there was some i i can't let me see meeting this was planned like this was spoken about like oh i have to I'm going here, I'm supposed to go here at a certain time. Well, that's perfect. We can make up an excuse to get away and we'll meet up and we'll go hang out when your family will think you're over here, okay? And he was more worried about his parents, right? Not worried about so much the brother, right? They were supposed to go together, but it's almost like a, I'm getting like a cover for me type of thing like a or like a not cover for me like a I know if this if 
this gets found out that I didn't go and I, you know, I show up at home later that he'll cover for me before then type of deal. Um, like I know, like the brother might not have had any idea what was going on, but it was that kind of relationship. Like, um, I know he'll, he'll cover for me. Right. Um, that type of energy, but, uh, you know, obviously this, um, poor kid never came home, never showed up. And I don't know, I didn't watch the rest of, I didn't watch the whole video. I watched like eight minutes of it on purpose because I want, I don't like reading and watching too much stuff on these type of things. If I feel a connection with the photo, right? With what I look at and I can pick something up, that's, you know, that's usually how I do things. I don't like to a lot. I don't like to know a lot of information because I don't like it to cloud my judgment and what I'm picking up because it does. It's your ego gets in the way, right? Of the things that you hear, you know, um, that's why I purposely don't pay attention to very popular cases. And, oh, two things, popular cases, the Idaho murders, I have not, not once, and I know nobody's going to believe me, I have not watched anything or read anything on that case because there is something that I am picking up, but I'm purposely not paying attention to it. I'm pushing it away from me right now because at a later time, I know I'm going to pick something up with that. I know I can feel it. But anyways, also another thing with this kid that I was just speaking about, um, I'm getting the, 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 for whatever reason, another missing case popped up into my head when I started watching it, like concentrating on this kid. Okay. Because it's, a similar circumstance is what I, how, why this is connecting for me. Andrew Gosden, Gosden, um, it was the kid that went missing in somewhere in England, I believe. Um, he took off in like after school or in the morning. No, he was supposed to go to school. He went home, changed his clothes and went to a bus station or a train station and took, bought, bought a one way ticket somewhere. Right. I instantly, I've totally forgot about that case. I haven't heard of anything on that in a long time, okay? And when I focus on this Lucas kid that is now missing, I'm pulled to think about, and I'm getting chills all over my body, I am pulled to think about this Andrew Gosden, Gosden, Goshen, I, I don't remember his last name, um, that is something like that. I'm pulled to think about that kid. And no, that doesn't mean, oh, it's a serial killer. They, you know, no. What that is, is it's connecting the energy, the circumstances around why these kids went missing are very similar. Groomed, groomed, talking to people. You don't know who, I'm sorry. You can keep tabs on your kids. You can have stuff on their phone, but they're still in school, right? There's predators everywhere, people, uh, more than you think. Um, and this is like very disturbing, but no, a lot of people don't act on these urges, but there are more predators out there than you even imagine, okay? And no, it's not just me being paranoid or being overly, no, it's an energy Okay, I can feel it. And this is why I have a very, very hard time wanting to sign my daughter up for kindergarten. Okay, because not everybody acts on these urges. Okay, but a lot of people get into this line of work. And no, I'm not, it's not everybody. Okay, I'm just, I just have to say this. Um, you know, no, not everybody, but there are sick people out there. Okay. And this shit goes up, goes on in their head. Okay. Wanting to hurt children, prey on children. Okay. And a lot of times these people, again, they don't act on it, but they will involve themselves in, uh, 
you know, a position that requires them to be around children because they are secretly harboring uh, fantasies and disgusting urges, okay? Um, yeah, the two cases, there's something, again, I, I, it's the grooming similarity, the, hey, meet me at this time, come here, you know, come, let's meet here, go over here, okay? The, the pulling, right? Pulling their energy in through their words, right? When you are speaking with someone and these predators know, okay, um, they know how to pull your energy in and that's what's going on, okay? I can see speaking right when you're speaking when there's when this kid is speaking and making plans with this person even over the phone there's an energy exchange being going going on and it's a sucking like a vacuum this predator man or woman i don't know why i keep feeling the need to specify that man or woman a man presenting as a woman um, is sucking this kid's energy in. It's like coming in through the mouth, right? Sucking his aura, his energy in, getting him, blinding him in a way that's not, is making him not aware what's going on, even though in the back, his subconscious, right in the back of his mind, he knows. But that's what these fuckers do. Some of them, some of the like real, they're all evil. Okay. But some of them are especially like can mask their energy very well and almost in a way put a spell on your child. Okay. Um, an energetic spell in a way that's, that's the best way to describe it. You, you you're not thinking clearly. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see what happens after that. I'm telling you what, and this again, this is a lot of times what I see and what I can pick up, why someone did something or what was going on prior to before they went missing. And this is what I'm picking up. Um, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to see um I don't, mm. not sex trafficking but uh, being not sold not it's not sex trafficking groomed by this person who is a part some sort of group disgusting people like hey like they groom children try and get so like I, I feel like oh god okay and I'm just gonna say it because this is what I'm picking up and I don't want to see I'm trying to I'm trying to sorry I'm trying to, in my head, push out any images that I don't want to see, but also pick up what's going on or what happened. A group of people, right? Perverts. Little group. They all know each other. And they actively, all of them, not a big group, but they actively seek out children to groom to try and get them to, to convince them to, hey, come meet me. And they're not, these children aren't aware, obviously, what's going on. Group of people. And they, once they get one, and I don't feel like they're very successful a lot of the time, but this was um, unfortunately a success for them. Like a party, like a, grooming this kid so he'll come meet you know just the one person he thought he was going to meet 
But then he shows up and there's more people there. And more people start coming. Passed around. It's a, 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 it's a disgusting, what do you, I don't, I don't even know how you would even uh, know that something like this would exist unless you actively seek it out or unless like myself, you can pick shit up like this and you can see it. There's something, something with that. And I'm picking up like with that Andrew kid that I was talking about, that was just one person, but it's the energy, right? Is similar. That was just one person, whatever happened to that poor kid. And I might be able to pick up something, but I'm telling you, it's very similar. They were both groomed and convinced, hey, come meet me. But the difference is with this Lucas child, I love that name, by the way, I've always loved that name. Um, the difference is this Lucas kid, I believe was preyed upon, yes, physically by one person to convince them to come, like to meet, but there, but that person was a part of something else, a group of disgusting people and they all attacked him. Like being fed to the wolves or something like, mm. anyways, I better stop because I don't want to see something that I don't want to see. I can see enough. Um, so that's, that's what I picked up on that, um, poor child. Um, anyways, um, yeah, there's that something too with rocks, mountains, rocky, big cliffs, rocky mountains. I don't know if that's where he was, um, his body was dumped. Um, large, I see huge rock formations, dark gray, little plants or trees growing on the side of these rocks. Um, I'm not familiar at all with any type of landscaping and for hints, um, I don't, you know, I've never, I've never been there. I've never had the want to go there. <laughs> um, so I've never looked at pictures even, you know, um, but I don't know. I just thought I'd say that at the end, something about that. Anyways. Okay. I'm going to go. I need some caffeine. <laughs>